Where the hell am I now? Oh god, it's happening! They're coming! Wait, is that a... Uh... That's Will Wheaton! I think that's Will Wheaton. That sounded like Will Wheaton. So that's a ladder to go back up to... Okay, a ladder to go back up to the Sky Village. I'm actually curious what happens now that I'm here. I'm actually really curious what happens now that I'm... Uh, now that I did that. Let's go talk to people. I'll see you two later. Okay, got nothing else to do. Bye. Bye. Alright, we're in a new area. Ooh, pretty. I like how shiny the sun is. Ooh. All right, so that's a new item. That's the second hole I've put in this cabin so far. Aw. Yeah, you kind of fucked this guy's day. He does not look like he's having a good time. Hi. Listen, I'm sorry. I didn't know you had feelings, okay? Um, okay. I forgive you. Oh, really? Great. Hey. Who are you? My name's Bella. What's yours? I'm Curtis. Sorry, I thought you were a tree. Have you always talked to trees, Curtis? No. They only started talking recently. How can I cut down trees when they're screaming at me? Oh, is that Gus? Maybe you shouldn't cut down trees then. But I'm a woodworker. If I can't cut down trees, where will I get my wood? What are they screaming at you? All kinds of really personal insults, like really over the line type stuff. It's been rough. But the worst part is not having any wood to build stuff. So you're a woodworker. Could you make me something? Like what? A weapon to kill Malchatra? That dude is a bummer. But I don't <laughs> think I could make something that powerful. How about a nice three legged stool? Hmm. I haven't done a stool in so long. Okay. Okay, make me a stool. I'd love to. If only I had some wood. Okay, so gotta find him some wood. Listen, about that big mess upstairs. Oh, did another tree fall on my roof? No, I fell out of the clouds and crashed into it a little. That's cool. I needed a little fresh air in here anyway. Been kind of cooped up for too long, you know? That's fair. Will you help me kill Magchatra? Sorry, conscientious objector. But I'm not using my axe. You're welcome to it. Ooh, think I could kill Magchatra with that? Oh, well, <laughs> no. I really don't think anything could kill Magchatra. That's... See you later, Curtis. Beware the trees. All right. Or are you? I feel like I should get to know that guy before I steal his art. Hey, here's some wood. That wood is playing a vital security function where it is. But, like, it's wood next to a fire. Someone's ripped the trees out of this painting. They were looking at me. Okay, so he's a tree. Scare he's scared of trees. Got it. Hi. Hey, Vela. Hey, about this art. Yeah? What is it? Well, you know. It's abstract. It's kind of a tone poem, really. Uh-huh. I find it does some interesting things with the space between viewer and image. Okay. Where'd you get it? I bought it from this slightly shady girl from Shell Mound. Said she was selling it to get money to move out of town. I guess she was. Pro I guess that's another girl that didn't want to be eaten by Mogchatra. Aren't you bothered by its elitist themes? I probably would be, if I had such a superficial understanding of the work. Wow. Okay. How do you know it's hanging right side up? Because the dude's little feet go on the bottom, duh. Yeah, fella. 
I like how it matches your decor. Decor? I don't have a decor. The purpose of art is not decor, man. Why do you have it up then? I only had it up there ironically, but I was actually getting sick of it. If you like it, just take it. Really? Okay. Catch you later, Curtis. Beware the trees. So I got a piece of art from him too. Or now I can take it. Okay, I'm taking this. Cool. I liked that kind of stuff when I was your age too. All right, fucking hipster. It's it, it makes sense that if this is Will Wheaton, he's playing a fucking hipster character. You using this axe? Not until those trees stop talking. Okay then. I'll just take another axe. I'm just stealing stuff from this guy. I mean, no, he. Tell the trees I'm in here, okay? And when you hit the main trail, head east. There is an extremely territorial snake in the other direction. Gotcha. That's why I got the axe, dude. Wait, east? Or was it west? Meh. I will figure it out eventually, Curtis. Don't worry. I'm free! All right, what's this place look like? guy hasn't gotten mail in a while. What else do we got? Uh, let's see. Okay, which one of you trees has been bugging Curtis? Because I will hmm. cut you down. They don't seem too chatty to me. Wait, is this east? West? Hey! Oh, so she gets her own little can't breathe moment too. Oh boy. That's not good. This is tight. I thought I can't use my hands. I can't use my hands. So it's a noise-based okay, thing. So do not go that way. Got it. So it's a noise-based thing. I need to figure out a way to like get her, get that snake onto something. So I'll just keep going this way and see what happens. Okay, now I see why the trees were freaking him out. Uh, well, let's put a smile on that face. I have a feeling I might regret this. <laughs> Axe-wheeling psychopath, right here! Shh, shh, shh. You'll wake up the other trees. She's got an axe! Run! She's a murderer! Is okay, that... Hey, look. I'm getting rid of the axe, okay? Just stop screaming, please. Oh, oh no! My trunk! I'm losing sound! Murderer! Okay, ow. Please don't scream anymore. You can't silence me! I'm going to wake up this whole forest! I'm here on behalf of Curtis, the lumberjack. That homicidal psychopath? I once saw him hack an old lady to death. Wow. Really? Yes. A 300-year-old spruce, mining her own branches, then he comes along. And the next time I see her, she's a... Oh, God, if I say it, I think I might be sick. Say it. What did Curtis do to the old spruce? He... He... Butchered her! Turned her into a... a stool! Oh, oh god! I think I just threw up in my mouth a little bit. Oh, poor guy. Why are you so upset? I just can't stand by in silence while you murderous humans mutilate my brethren! It makes me sick! Are you magic? Can you help me kill Mogchothra? Is that all you humans think about? Killing? Yes. You all make me want to puke. You got a little something in the corner of your mouth. Oh, that's just a little sap. I'm not ashamed. It's thick and natural, and I'm full of it. Yeah, you are. I mean, yeah. I mean, these are not the most strange talking trees I've ever encountered in media. Hey, can I have some of your sap? You're just like the rest of them. You want to bleed us dry, steal all our thick, luscious, and incredibly useful fluids. Yep. You humans make me want to throw up. Then do it! I won't do it. 
because I refuse to give you the pleasure of my sap. Please stop saying it like that. I've never seen a talking tree before. Well, I've seen plenty of axe-wielding murderous humans, so get lost. Okay. I'll let you get back to your screaming. Yeah, please leave before I vomit, you foul, ruthless stump. Right, is there anything else? I'll let you get back to your... Uh, let's see. What do you think about this art? I've got some art that might make you sick. Is it made of wood? Actually, I've never seen this material before. Then I doubt it would make me as sick as the horrors made by your lumberjack friend. What about, uh, this? I'm gonna hang this pretty crystal here. No, you are not. What is this? Look, he also makes nice things that aren't wood. Crystals have feelings, too. They do. Have you ever seen cloud shoes? They're bent twigs wrapped in feathers. Well, the twigs might have fallen off naturally, so that's not going to make me sick. But I can't speak for the birds. Want some fruit? The sweet flesh you tore down from the arms of its mother? No, thank you. Also, that fruit has a big pit that's kind of a pain to deal with. They all talk about the pit. It's kind of funny. I've got a ladder in my pocket. Bet that will make you barf for sure. Is it from Meriloft? They only use naturally fallen branches collected by their birds. See? It's possible to live in harmony with nature, you barbarian. Alright, alright. Let's go. Fine, I'll go over here then and see what I can find. Since I... Oh, hey, it's... Hello, Looks like Mob Chothra hasn't gotten here yet. Okay, let's see what we got. Ew, what is the? Looking at this chum trough makes me really happy I grew up in a baking town instead of a fishing town. I just hope my baking town is still standing. Here come all the girls for the sacrifice. Okay, lift it up slowly. And what are you? Excuse me, uh, Mayor? What? Mayor? Why did you say that? Because you look like a mayor. Hmm. I have to admit you're not the first person to tell me that. But alas, I am merely Maiden's Feast Marshal Dune, a humble man of the people, for now. I need to enter the Maiden's Feast. Child, at this point, we may not even have a Maiden's Feast. <laughs> not that you have the right scent for it anyway. Oh, so they want me to smell like fish? Are you saying I smell bad? No, oh, heavens no, child. You smell like birthday cake and fluffy clouds. With a hint of fresh pine. Ooh, and a dangerous undernote of snake, I believe. Very nice. Okay, but creepy. That's just not the sort of aroma that hooks the big fish. Talk to your grandmother. I'm sure she has a fragrance recipe she'll share with you. Did you say there might not be a Maiden's Feast? The sea? She is angry this day. I'm trying to build the offering arena, but the waves keep washing it away. There has to be a Maiden's Feast. I need to kill Mog Chathra. Yes, yes, we all want to fill Mog Chathra. But when he comes here and sees no offering arena, he might pass us by. Or worse. Okay. Hey, about your bucket hat. What? What about it? Can I have it? Certainly not. It's an integral part of my soon-to-be mayor look. Hey, can I please have it? I like your manners, but I like my hat more. Let's try that again. It looks great on you. Very fancy. What? Fancy? But... I'm a man of the people. I'm never going to win this election if I come off as haughty and elite. Here, take this away from me. Okay, that one. child. I'm firing my stylist tomorrow. Okay. Um. Let's see. Why do you build the offering arena so close to the ocean? Uh, because that's where the sand is. Duh! Come on, Vela. So, 
You're running for mayor of Shellmound? My hopes and dreams, just sand castles built too close to an angry sea. I had hopes, child, but this construction debacle under my marshal ship has washed them all away. When is Mount Chakra supposed to get here? Any minute! So much to do! Better let you get back to the feast. Yes, yes. These maidens aren't going to serve up themselves. I mean, if anything's like the one from uh, Sugar Bunting, then yeah, they kind of do. Marshal Dune? Mm -hmm. How about now? I need to better let you get back. Okay, so I stink, so I, they want me to put myself in chum. Is this your secret stink for attracting Mom Chakra? Uh, it's my grandmother's traditional cocktail of musk, pheromones, and animal sweat. And I'm not sharing it with anybody. Well, I don't need it anyway. Daddy says I exude it naturally. Gross. Hi, you maidens getting ready for the maiden's feast? I want to be in the maiden's feast. Of course you do, poor thing. But shell maidens are chosen only after a long period of qualifying events. Also, our dads are pretty powerful. Also, can I tell you something? Just as a friend. Oh my god, yes, just as a friend. You just don't smell right, girl. Oh, I'd want a friend to tell me that. At least I don't smell like fish. Hey, can I have some of that perfume? <laughs> That's not perfume. That's a proprietary luring compound known as Beast Hooker. It's irresistible to Mogs. Hey, can I have some of your Beast Hooker? That's better. But no, you can't. <laughs> Sorry. It's her secret sauce. Okay. How about just one little squirt? Sorry. If I'm not going to give any to my best friend, Drusilla, I'm certainly not going to give any to you. I said I don't want any. I don't use performance enhancers. Get them to fight. Nice costumes. Thanks. Our dads made them. They're the best fishermen in the village, so they're pretty good at tying lures. We had to use every hook in town, but it was worth it. So the city's, so the town's going to starve to death because they can't fish. Great. Isn't somebody going to miss those hooks? Not as much as they're going to miss us. You're going to make me cry, girl. Hey, maidens. I'm going to kill Mog Chakra. Huh. Not half as hard as I'm going to kill it. I'm already killing it in this outfit. Just standing here. I wonder if they are intentionally mishearing her or actual. You maidens nervous? Yeah. Nervous that Marshall Dune isn't going to get the offering arena ready before Mog Chakra gets here. Oh, I can't believe our dad donated so much to his campaign. His mayoral campaign. Don't you guys ever wonder if there's another way? To save the town, I mean. Um, this is how it's always been done. Yeah, they figured out how to do it a long time ago, so we wouldn't have to think about it. See you maidens later. Ciao! Ha! <laughs> We did this so that we don't have to worry about it, so we don't have to think. Sounds about right. And who are these fun? Excited stranger approaches. Not so fast. She's got a gun. All out of holy tear gas. Holy tear gas. Oh yeah. Holy. The dead eye god sees no one. Who are you two? I am Dead Eye Dawn, and this is Dead Eye Courtney. Hi. Dead Eye Court. I thought it was gonna be like Dead Eye Dawn and Dead Eye Night or Dusk. Dead Eye Dawn and Dead Eye Dusk, and it's like I am Dead Eye Dawn, and oh, and this is Dead Eye Courtney. What is this place? The Dead Eye Pyramid, Tomb of the Dead Eye Gods. <laughs> As if you didn't know. Can I go inside? You wish to invade our holiest of shrines? Why? Uh, I don't know. It just looks cool. It does? We wouldn't know. We're blind. Oh, sorry. But no one enters the Dead Eye Pyramid. No one. Well, unless. What? Well, if 
she could solve the riddle of yarn. Oh, yeah. If she could solve that, then she'd definitely be worthy. No problem. Um, could you remind me how the riddle of yarn goes one more time? You always take us down when we are in our prime. Devour your sweet rewards, yet I'll return in time. A child of mine will rise out of his rotten bed, up from a hidden pit long after I am dead. Oh, so it... Yeah. Bring us the solution, and you may enter the pyramid. So I have the solution, but I'm not going to say it yet. Who's the dead eye god? The Messiah from the sky. Bringer of miracle objects. Someday he will rise to return our sight and begin the Battle of Volgantol. I feel like this is just Gus. Did your god bring any miracle objects that were like weapons? The kind that could take down a giant monster before it destroyed your home village? Our god had such power and more. Probably. I mean, really, we don't even know what half the stuff in there does. What's the Battle of Volgantol? The final battle between humans and mobs. The end of our entire age. Hmm. Sounds promising. Can I go inside? Because it's kind of cold out here? The Deadeye Pyramid provides sanctuary only for the Deadeye God. And his devoted followers. When we're on a break. But no one enters the Dead Eye Pyramid. So we gotta wait. No so we can literally just wait well. until. Okay, we got that. Did you say you lost your sight? Yes, that happens when you blind yourself. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh. If the Dead Eye God has no need for sight, then neither do we. Oh. Well, that, well, that sucks. I would not ever intentionally blind myself. Hey, can I get you guys something? Like what? Something to read? Oh, oh, whoops. We're blind. Oh, how is she not getting that? You could have gotten... I could have gotten you some braille. Hey, can I get you guys something? Like what? Maybe a refreshing beverage? No, thanks. I've got a flask of barnacle juice under this robe. Diet barnacle juice over here. Gross. Can I go inside? Because you guys are guarding it, so it must be cool. Oh, it is extremely cool, but no one enters the. Hey, can I get? Let's you see. Some more holy tear gas. Oh yeah, here. I... Just fill that up for me if you could. Thanks. Oh, perfect. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Sent you later. So I have a bucket and I have that, but I have this, so this should succeed. Check it out. Fruit. No thanks. These are our only robes. We don't want to get them all sticky. That's it's the... the answer to your riddle. But it's just a fruit. With a pit inside. Oh my god. It's so simple. Why didn't we get that? Oh man. That's been bugging us all day. But what does it have to do with the pyramid? Huh? Oh, nothing. It's just something our friend Becky Yorn told us this morning. The riddle of Yorn. Oh my fucking god. so smart. I can't wait to rub this thing in her face. So, uh, can I go in there now? Oh, yeah, yeah, whatever. Knock yourself out. Oh my god. I didn't even, I didn't think that that would be the, the concept behind it. Actually, no, before we do that, I want to see. Is there anything else I can What's say? Up, druids? Eh, eh. How much? Let's see what's inside here now. Such strange shapes in here. Uh, that's a shape that fits into that. I wonder what that symbol means. Guess this is where they buried their old god. There's that symbol again. It's that same religious symbol. But this one is recessed, like a socket. Maybe if I put you here? I don't think that's the right shape to go in there. That symbol is so strange, but familiar. It is. Guess this is where they buried their old god. What is that a symbol of? 
A three-legged bow? Oh, I see. I see. I don't think that's the right shape to go in there. Oh, no, I, I see. I'm dumb. There you go. In there you go. There we go. That fits. Does something. I... Whoa. Uh, man, my mouth tastes like death. Oh, hey, you found my circuit control router. That's awesome. Now I can fire up the ship and get back to Laruna. Are you the dead eye god? Man, that's so embarrassing. The locals called me that when my spaceship crashed here, and I kind of went along with it because, well, you know, god. Were you really dead? Nah, I was just preserved in cryogenic suspension for 300 years. I guess all the locals I knew here are long dead. That's kind of a relief. They were a little annoying. It's part of the reason I went into chrysolation, to tell you the truth. Does the ship you mentioned have any weapons? Hey, whoa. There's a giant monster that is destroying villages and eating young girls, and it may or may not have already... My whole family might be... Anyway, I just need to take down a horrible monster. Will you help? I... Uh, I mean, sure. I, I owe you one. But my ship didn't have any weapons that I know of. I'll dig around once I get this heap working and let you know. Can I help? Depends. You know anything about spaceships? No. I'm just a baker from sugar bunting. Sugar bunting? Is that anything like steel bunting? When I first landed, there was this town called Steel Bunting that the locals were all afraid of. Apparently, it's full of badasses. Damn. You're welcome. Oh, yeah. Uh, thanks for finding my circuit control router. I lost it during the crash and couldn't find it anywhere. I drew pictures of it for the locals and kept saying, Give me this. Give me this. After a few years, I just had to put myself in cryogenic storage and hope someone smarter would come along and find it. And lucky for you, that did happen. So we're standing in a spaceship? Just the upper observation deck. The rest of it's buried underneath. I'm going to need to fix more wiring before I can even gain access to it. Okay. What's Laruna? That's my home planet. Or at least it was. Who knows if it's even still there. Can't remember. Was Shay from Laruna? I can't remember. What's all this equipment do? This is the main observation deck of my ship. So this stuff mostly scans for signs of life or habitable worlds. Anything that would help the mission. What was your mission? Operation Dandelion. Laruna was dying. This spaceship was supposed to give us a fresh chance in a new home. But instead, we crashed here. Okay. How'd your ship crash? I hate to think about it, but there's a chance it was me. I tried to hack into the ship's controls and take over. Then some weird stuff happened, and the next thing I know, I'm here. Okay, see you later. Uh-huh. So, yeah, he kind of looks like Shay. So, we could have just ended up crashing, and this is the end of just Shay. So, this might have been, like, a prequel thing to do. Let's see, what does it say here? Could you make a weapon out of this? Uh, only against flies. What does it say about this? Could you make a weapon out of this bucket? Mm, not a very good one. Need some stained glass for that pretty mobile on the ceiling? Man, those weirdos really hung up some crazy stuff, didn't they? I'm going to have to clean house before I take off. Let's see. Need some shoes made out of twigs and feathers? Uh, nah, I'll stick with my climate-controlled no-trip space boots, but thanks. All right, no problem. Just my size. Need a ladder? Haven't you noticed how freakishly tall I am? Yeah, I guess you don't. I can reach over anything. It's really cool. All right, all right. All right, he is pretty tall. He is fairly tall. All right, um... Well, let's give a spray to... Well, let's give a spray down to... I think, because I see they gave us the chum thing over here. So... Maybe... I can do this. Come to me, old chum. 
I mean, when is this not going to come in handy? It's a point and click adventure game, it's moon logic. Aha! Hey, maybe this perfume is what's attracting them. I'll get rid of it. Great! Ow! Great idea! What about me? Ow! I exude it naturally! She has to save whom she can't. How? I'll tell Mog Tothra about you, Drusilla. All right. So, let's cut this ribbon already. You tell them, non-maiden. The ribbon is there for your protection. The arena is still under construction. All right, so if that's the case, move back over here. So, I have Let's see. Let's see if I can ask Want some perfume? To what? Mask the smell of death that fills these woods? There's no hiding your sins, human. Okay, okay. What about... Oh, and now you're decorating me like a Christmas tree? Is there no end to the humiliation? Uh, probably not, but... I need some wood, but I don't know where to get wood. I don't know where to get wood though, but let's see if he has. Let's see if uh, Curtis has anything to say. Hi. Hey, Bella. Catch you later, Curtis. Beware the trees. Maybe. Nah, I like his natural woodsy musk. You do? Not that much. Just more than Beast Hooker. Okay. Hey, the sun part. Um. Fell out when I walked by. Man, I guess the heavy crystal I used for the sun needs a thicker lead around it. You just put it back up there and I'll fix it later. All right, let's see. Would a pair of soft, feathery shoes help? Given my luck, they'd just start screaming. Let's see. Uh, let's see. That's my vein, but then. Oh, okay. Wait. If I remember correctly. Wait, no, I remember something from the last time I played this game. Nine years ago, but I do remember. I did miss something in Shell Mound. I do remember I missed something in Shell Mound. So let's go back there real quick. Come on. Come on. So there we go. I remember this. Ooh, driftwood. So smooth. So that should be what I need to get. There. That should give him the thing that he needs to go for this. There you go. Check it out. Non-talking wood. And it's so smooth. Oh man, I feel a stool coming on. What? Oh, um, whew, that's a relief. Tell me about it. I feel ten times better. Thanks for helping me get that out of my system. I want you to have it. Really? Thanks. No problem. I like to spread my samples around. That's, uh, that was not a great innuendo to use, but okay. Alright. Let's keep going. Come on, Vela, you got this. You're on a quest to kill a giant Eldric abomination. We'll figure it out together. Check it out. 
sorry to do this to you, but... Oh my god, is that mutilated tree flesh? You see, what Curtis does is he peels off the outer layer of the wood <laughs> to get to the tender stuff inside. <laughs> then he dips the whole thing in an acid bath <laughs> before he begins the deep carving. <laughs> oh, sorry, did that upset you? You monster! Well, no worries about that. Vela, you ought Vela, you mean person, but I get it. You're saving countless lives, hopefully. Here, this will make your sand mixture stick together better. Really? How do you know? I'm a baker. I know my ingredients. At this point, I'd try anything. Hey, Clarence! Bring that load down here, will you? I hope you're right about this. It's never failed me before. How many times have you used it? Never. Shh. Let's watch. Here comes a wave. I can't look. Ha ha! Looks like we're in business! All we need to do now is get those maidens in tune. What do you mean by maidens in tune? Hmm? I need to enter the maidens feast. Well, I suppose I do owe you one for your help with construction. Unfortunately, you just... Better let you get back to the... Alright, guess I'll do this then real quick. Sorry, I hate myself for it, but... Monsters go for these days. Marshal Dune, I need to enter the Maiden's Feast. Well, I suppose I do owe you one for your help with construction. Oh, my, oh, my. Now that is how you attract a monster. You are in, my girl. My compliments to your grandmother. Truly monstrous. I guess it's showtime. Wait. I'm not ready yet. What? Well, I owe you one, so I can stall for a little while, but hurry back. I can't keep the beast from coming. Be right back. What am I? I have to get some sort of powerful weapon before Mog Chothra gets here. Oh yeah, that's true. I for that's true. She can't just be like up for grabs again. Uh, maybe this dude up. Maybe the dude up here will have something for me. Pretty colors. Whoops. Hey, that was my amplifying quartz. Without that, how am I supposed to read the data from the search beam? Sorry, I'll get a new one. I did notice. Don't bother. All I really care about is getting out of here, and I don't need a search beam for that. Yeah, I saw this at the very beginning. As soon as I walked in, I was like, oh, that's probably something. And it looks shaped like this, right? Well, first off, let's see. What is it? Hey, put that laser coil back. That's how I generate light for my search beam. I'm just cleaning it. There. Good as new. Actually, that's not bad. And you even got it in the right slot. Hi. Hey. Any luck so far? Well, there are some missing parts. But if I can get them all, I should be able to get something working. As a weapon? Oh, uh, no, sorry. Get my ship working so I can get out of here, I mean. I haven't started on the whole weapon thing yet. Let me know if you have any ideas. Okay, see you later. Oh, actually, I have an idea. On second thought, I don't like it there. It looks better here. No, it doesn't. Are you trying to kill us? Doesn't matter. Nailed it. What have you done? Uh, fixed your ship? You put the amplifying quartz after the laser coil. If I powered up the beam in this configuration, I mean, the thermal feedback alone could melt down my entire ship. I could conceivably release the extra energy out of the targeting iris, but that would only produce a powerful, weaponized... Well, heck, let's just call a death ray a death ray. Yay! Yay! I'm ready! Face me, Mog Chothra! And I told Becky, your 
are so ugly. <laughs> I'm glad I'm blind. Okay, the targeting iris has 300 years of rust on it, but it should do the trick. I'll try to lure him into a good spot. You can fire the weapon with this remote trigger. Like this? Oh no! Okay, shut it down. Clarence, was that you? Knock it off! Just use quick bursts or that hacked circuit of yours will cause a meltdown up here. I'm not sure how to thank you for this. You know what? The whole time I was on that spaceship, all I really wanted was to be as useful as I feel right now. Well, wish me luck. Hey, if you're really from steel bunting, I'm sure you're not going to need it. I'm from sugar bunting. I told you that already. Well, time to start. Time to go murder a go Well, time to go murder a god. All right, time to go kill a god. Ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime. You know what to do, girls. Later. Is this a boss fight? I'm not really sure. Get that laser ready. Charging back up. There we go. I just gotta avoid it for a bit. Come on, let's go. Come on. You got this. Do I have to hit it like straight on the eye? Oh, I gotta hit the mouth then. Got it. Oh no, is it just gonna eat me? with one arm tied behind my back, but not two. Hey, 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 let it cool down, Vela. This whole mountain is gonna melt down. Right. Don't come on, you stupid death ray. Oh, do I need to... What am I supposed hey. to do? I mean, I know I missed. How many times do I gotta hit it? This way. Come on. Me. Come on. Do I have to like? One tasty maiden over here. Now. Oh shit! Take the shot. Okay, I guess I can get rid of the legs. Alright, it's gonna lift me up. Oh god. Open your open your mouth, come on! Hit it. No good. His mouth is closed. Hit it, dead eye god. Even its eyes are armor plated. He must have a more vulnerable spot. 
I'm trying! Oh, god damn it. Oh! Wait. There we go. Let's try that again. There we go. There we go. Let's try that again. Alright, so, wait. I think I can use something here. I think I can use something here. Um, this would probably be the most useful. Short things can surprise you. That is a strong ladder. Bye. Oh, that's where she'd be if she was unconscious first. In we go. Oh shit, it's Shay. Wait, so who's the other guy? A simulation of some sort. Should have remembered that. Oh no. Ah, and their, like, positions are reversed on the, uh... Their positions are reversed. Okay! Okay, I think that's honestly a good place to stop. Yeah, um, I'll continue next time. Thank you all for watching, and I will catch you guys in a little bit. Catch you later.